Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here going to go for our first run of oil barrels. Did turn around and pick up a new loco to do that with. Grab the uh, Eureka and turn around and threw uh, four of the tier three cars and a way car on there. Lake Valley way car doing the thing. It's the fourth one we have on here. Hopefully Eureka is enough to get this done. I think it should be as long as we go into the loading dock one way. I think one way it probably won't work, one way it will. So we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. Alright, still got enough fire in the build up. This is the first run out with this thing, so definitely just a bit of a test. Now it did turn around and go with kind of the classic Eureka look with the double white flags up front. One of the first locos everybody gets, or at least when you first started playing the game. I know for me it was probably, I think it was the first loco I ever bought. So haven't run one of these for quite a while. They're pretty limited in where and how you use them. I mean, you can use them as long as you're on flat ground. They tend to do actually pretty well, so. Just don't normally build too many flat, flat runs, so. This layout should actually give us a chance to actually use a few Eurekas for different, kind of, different kinds of things. I'm not sure that oil barrels is gonna be the best run for it. We'll just have to see if it's got the, uh, if it's got the oomph to get up the hill with the uh, with the load on or not, it'll be interesting. Nothing on this run over two percent, but even a two percent grade for Eureka is a grade. I think the one direction we're good. The other direction, like it's got a probably a two percent to actually pull it out of there, and I don't think it'll be able to do it because it won't have any momentum. So we'll have to go into the dock uh, on a certain side of the loop. But given that, I think it'll manage it. We'll just have to see. I think all of the switches should be aligned. So this should just be a smooth run towards and then on the way back we'll either have one switch to flip or we can just drop on the easy side of the dock. Did turn around and put a loop around on the other side of the drop so I'm gonna try to check that out on this run. See that everything is functioning. Oh, unless the cylinder cocks on the whole time, just kinda chilling. Probably don't need all that. <laughs> Oops. Probably low on water. Just kidding. Plenty of water in the thing, that's for sure. It's a brand new loco, so... Well, we'll definitely have to fill it up at some point. Not anytime soon, soon. And we have plenty of water towers around anyway, so no big deal. Nice look at the sawmill. Still full on this side. Empty on that side. I don't think we have anything left in there. Definitely not. So, need to do a log run soon. That's for sure. I think we have enough to sneak out a full load of oil barrels, though. That's kind of been the target goal to get to for this one. Kind of the final run that needs to be checked out on this line. Cruising along, doing all right. This direction being empty, I'm not too worried about it. I don't think we'll have 
too many problems. <clears throat> Hopefully it can handle coming out of here. Uh, you never know. I've been I've been shocked by how little Eureka can pull up grades before, so I would not be surprised if we do run into an issue somewhere along this run, but trying to give it a shot. This run is definitely not flat. There would be other runs on this layout that we could do that are actually legitimately flat with this one. So if nothing else, we definitely will have a fallback for this loco. Not going to go uh, wasted. I just don't know if this is the one. I just thought Eureka giving it a shot for oil would be cool. It's a Eureka drop. A lot of money on this load. So would be cool. A little bit of a downgrade here, but it's not even enough to pick up speed, so I might actually just take that downgrade out of there. Noticing, you know, and I have been noticing with the runs that it nothing really picks up speed going down that little bit of a grade, so. Not really doing much. Just kind of hoping it'd be a little kicker up this grade, but it's not. So I can take it out probably less than the grade here a little bit, although it's not having a hard time with the pull here, but I don't anticipate that it's empty, so. Don't really need to adjust anything in there, it works. One little curve on this run has proven to be it, at least with some it gets a little bit rocky for sure the fast locos you gotta slow down and this one i don't know because eureka gets it's not so much eureka that has a hard time with the turns but eureka's tender does not exactly like sharp turns or at least didn't used to so we will probably chill a little bit on this bridge turn not exactly a high speed corner. I mean, I guess it isn't bad. It's just how it works around corners, especially at speed. Eureka come from back in the day when we were supposed to derail at speed, so. Still a thing, I think, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't run one for a long time. Maybe that's not a thing anymore. I could be being overcautious, but I'm gonna just chill on that turn. <laughs> I've had a few locos rock there. The Class 70 likes to rock there when you're flying through there, so. This Tinder, I'm gonna chill out with. All right, and then we'll catch this loop ball. Could always get rid of the uh, way car on the back too. This kind of just extra weight. <clears throat> Everything clear. The cactus is all right with this. Yes. Brakes. All right. Now let's ease it in here. Any time there, and we are good there. There we go. Hop out and get the whoa, where'd we come out? There we go. Alright, get this going. Is it going? It's going. Whoa. Alright, my mouse is taking off to the moon. Alright, let's get that one down. Get that going. Alright, that's a winner. Cool. Cool, that's working. Did get decently close here. A little closer than I actually probably wanted to be. But there we go. Loading up the big money. I still do have to say, like, it's kind of disappointing these don't roll down the ramps and they just drop in. But such as it is, I think that had to do with alignment. I've heard somebody said it was to do with the you know, like they were aligned to roll on the old map or something, but they're not. So that was always a thing. If people, if you moved, I don't know. 
whatever. It's a thing. So it's kind of whatever. I guess it was a workaround, basically, to drop them in. Just kind of a bummer, because they were cool when they rolled down the dock, so hopefully one day we'll get that back. Should have enough here for a full load of four. I don't think we have any more oil up here, so we're probably not going to... Here's the big platforms. When it doesn't lay down... Where are we at? Yeah, we're out of oil. I know we had just kind of gotten just enough up here for it. Running oil was a little bit of a hassle. We definitely need some more tanker cars. That's where this, the money from this load, I think, is mainly going to go is towards tankers on here. And then I think we're going to start putting in, like, some yards and stuff like that. Probably coming up. Blow the save file up a bit as we are, I don't know wind shooting this one or something around I don't know 11 days to the update or something we're going to waste probably some oil barrels in here alright there we saw it come off good deal Let's pull this one ahead just a little bit. And see, it shouldn't be bad here on the dock because we got a little bit of down to work with. I don't know. Getting this load moving for Eureka might be a fair bit. That's why I don't think it'll work the other way because of that grade right there. So... Always going to have to load it, probably coming in down the hill. Not that that's a big deal, but a reality, I think. All right, let's get that moving. It's probably open more than I need it. That's part of my problem. There we go. Oh, why my mouse is just taking off. All right, there we go. Get these going, two more load, two more two load. There we go, Lake Valley Railroad. Did go, go with the dark brown on this one. Don't ask me why, just what it is. Do you get a good look out at the mountains from here? That's for sure. Ended up moving the telegraph booth up there on the hill. Just kinda, I don't know. They kind of always drive me up the wall when I'm loading cars and stuff, so I like to keep them as far away from the docks as possible so I don't hear them. That's kind of why I generally put them off, plus I don't really use them a lot, so having a little bit of a walk from the telegraph booth to where I gotta be doesn't really bother me too much. So in most cases, they're pushed way off, but I only do that after like I get the industry built and stuff, so <laughs> when I first start, I do plop them down by the rail somewhere. Often seen. Not too picky about it when I get started. Finally got this one roughed in, so now I can start to actually like fine tuning the rails and stuff like that, cleaning some stuff up here and there. Go back and do some of that as we go. Don't think we're gonna start a new layout probably before the um, before the update. Might go back to the uh, moved industries layout for a bit too. Not too sure. Kind of look forward to getting back and doing some stuff on there. Kind of hurried through that to get to this. So not exactly sure what's coming. But a lot to add on two new layouts now. Actually is the thing. Got two layouts to finish and tune and adjust. That kind of thing. go let that one go and it should take care of that one perfect we'll take it a load worth running to be sure huh. 
check that out. Actually bop up and down down the barrels. That's cool. Gonna need some wood. Just chuck that in there. Alright. Turn it down. Hit that. Let's go. I don't think we're gonna overpower the turn too much. Most locos have been doing this 10, no problem, 10 to 13 miles per hour. We've been doing just fine around this turn. Probably should have hit the gas sooner. There is a little bit of an incline right there. Barely any, and now we'll start picking up speed, hopefully, to get out of here. If we get up enough speed, we should get out of here just fine. Even the other direction, I suppose, if we back up and hit that corner fast enough, we'll probably get up it. Did hit top speed, 15, so hopefully that's enough. There you can see it bogging. A little bit. Hopefully we don't lose too much. Now we're going to be good. At the switch we'll start getting flat. There we go. No problem. Come out of there just fine. Don't think that's going to be the case running out the other direction. Probably take a little more oomph than Eureka. But we might try that at some point just to see how that goes. Again, we don't need to go barreling through this turn. Probably not going to be a big fan of that. I see that. That it's the tender that always moves a lot on Eureka. Everything else is pretty smooth, but that tender boy she gets to moving around so. <laughs> Definitely going to be taking it easy with that. It still moves around a lot. But it should get the job done anyway. It's not going to blow the route away, but it'll get it done. And it sure didn't cost a lot to pull the load, that's for sure. Eureka is pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure one of these cars would pay for Eureka, so. <clears throat> Loaded. Anyway, there we go. seems so much more zoomed in when you're not driving the loco. There we go. Eureka in action doing its thing. The flags look a little different nowadays. I don't know if that's just me and the time I haven't run it. Like they used to stand up more than that, but such as it is. corner that's the crazy turn around loop right there the snow cone it works though when you need it, it saves you from having to run all the way out we could turn around and actually get rid of it and just use the uh, 
the coal and there's a couple of rails actually on here we could get rid of if we wanted to you know go minimal minimal there's actually a few extra rails on here we don't need but probably going to be adding more so than subtracting anyway anytime soon so plenty to add on This wouldn't make for a bad yard spot, except I'd hate to start losing a bunch of the trees in here, so not sure we'll be messing around with that. Montezuma off in the distance there. Parked at its log station. Nothing else goes over there, so that's just where it gets parked at the log drop. Convenient, easily remembered. Eureka is still a great looking locomotive. Well, I get, I always have liked it. Looks wise, it's always been one of the favorites. It's always just been a little, you know, a little less performance than a person's always wanted out of it. So, you know, you really do gotta keep it kinda on flat. So it's nice to actually have a load that this one can do for a change. Kinda happy with that. Gives it a chance to do something. A 440 wheel arrangement. switch coming up here that we are going to flip. So we have to keep an eye out for that one. Nice little run through the trees here. What the hell? This is a cool looking section of track. Bam! Tree knocker. Actually, I had one cactus at one point on the track that was like rubbing on the boxcars. Everything was going by it, so I didn't even notice it for a while. And then ran the boxcars out there, and the boxcar was rubbing on it. You get every time, everything else would clear it, but the boxcars, the boxcars would just lean when it went by it too. It wouldn't derail anything. It was kind of funny, but I'm surprised you don't get more of that going on with trees and whatnot. Kind of funny though. Oh, are you gonna let us up? Never mind. We'll just run up there and flip it the old school way. No big deal. And then we'll flip that one. I think we're gonna turn around and put in some big, like, yard stuff in here. Just haven't exactly figured out the plan yet. Like along here, I think in hitching around the edge here, we're gonna turn around and put in probably some good size holding, something like that. Wait, can we still make it up to that switch? Yeah, sweet. Okay, that'll give us a chance to hit the run around. Plus, then we can get the loco park the other direction. So it'll be kind of in line leaving the station for the next one. Should be groovy. Hopefully we got all the little ninja trees out of here. There are a few of them in here.
don't have to worry about speed. I don't think too much in here. This all came out pretty wide, I think. If I remember. There's that tater moving around. That thing bangs around more than almost. It's more like the, uh, like the Craig Company cars, the way that this one just moves around than a lot of the other tenders. It's kind of weird. All right, I'll just keep it going. We got no problem. One nice hit going into the into the station here. Let that go. A little hit on the whistle. And that should bring it rolling into a stop. Alright. See if that does it. This is the short side, so let's try to get everything in the buildings there. There we go. Good to go. Alright, now we can jump out of there. We will bring up the money. Well, 4,400 and some change. See where this goes with these. There we go. That's the best money in a load that I tend to do right there for sure in railroads and watch the money pile up so this is going to let us buy you know a, a couple of tankers for sure to say the least we will we will definitely have the money to add add some new stuff onto the save file now for sure there we go wow Yeah, that's going to get us way up ahead. Alright, cool. Always a good thing on the railroad, that's for sure. Good payday. Puts us up to almost $12,000 and gets us ready for some major add-ons. So, there we go. I think with that one, we're going to turn around and call it a win and say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.